And no matter how desperate God is, He can never, never send a man that has not been prepared. Because He knows the warfare involved in Christianity. And the reason for the casualty, the reason for the carnality, the reason for the lot of gimmicks that we have today is simply because many premature men have been unleashed as functionaries and pretend bed is always dangerous premature bed is dangerous both for the baby and for the mother because oftentimes both of them may die there is always a time a portion for the manifestation of anything that is precious sometimes no matter how zealous you are no matter how welcome you are, no matter how desirous you are, you may never give birth to a baby in five months. You may never give birth to a baby in two months. You must be patient enough and wait until the time of life come into completion. But what do you do? Within those moments, you wait. Every woman that knows that she's pregnant have to wait because there is a time a portion for birthing and if she decide to force the baby to come out the baby may die and she may die also a lot of ministers will lead you and let you understand how their life is deprived of result i realize they have left the cave before their time If you want to have a voice in this generation and if you want to have substance you must understand that god is not in a rush you are the one man god gives speed but before god give you a speed it will look as though god has delayed you everyone may run so fast but i realize that speed is always advantageous in the right direction speed is dangerous in the wrong direction the difference between speed and rush is just direction a man can so desperate in a direction that has no definition and before you know it the man has crashed if you have been in campus and if you have been in the landscape for so long you will realize that the people that are active and stay alive today are one of the most weakest person in the body of Christ. Most of the strong men are falling out. In your campus, in your fellowship, some of the big ones, the strongest ones are the ones that pass life fast. And the ones that you believe that nothing good can ever come out of them are the ones that understand the necessity of Allah's paracletos. And when God begins to help them, they become strong men. And they are not ignorant of the help of God because they know that they are doing whatever they are doing because there is an enablement that men cannot see. So when the Lord appeared to me, the first thing he told me, he said, Philip, save us. You need to be helped. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> all the power and all the anointing and everything when we pass by people go down which help show me something to do show me if you don't show me a vision show me a ministry i will create one Say, young man calm down you need to be helped he says not about can you do it no you wait for my instruction you must always at all the time ask the Lord what you ought to do even if you can do it. As a result of that, a lot of time God will always bench his best. He will keep them in reserve. I'm not a fan of football but I realize that oftentimes, even in the football, my friend came one time, he was so angry how they scored them and the strategy was that many of the guys they were the other club was calling score later on 
they now brought in some of the best and before you know it they even overtake all the scores that have been sometimes God always reserves his best that was when the Lord told me Philip Cephas a man I help is always better than a man that help himself and it was so hard for me to understand and I begin to ask oh God how can you help me he said if you can pray I will help you since from that very day I understand that one of the only way that God can be able to help the infirmity of men is for men to pray I didn't even see the book of Romans I didn't see it I just had an encounter and from that encounter I knew that the necessity for my infirmity to be helped is for me to pray and I've never desired to be a prayer warrior prayer is a very hard thing I have never seen a man that like prayer you may think Baba, La, Baba what Baba Lola Apostle Baba Lola love prayer it's a lie nobody love prayer who told you nobody prayer is hard you know you may believe it's not hard because you have not prayed for long if we begin to pray now you understand it's hard because the best of the prayer warriors still need help to pray the man that do one hour the one that do 10 hours the one that do 15 hours the one that do 100 hours, all of them need help to pray at every point in time in prayer there is a need for you to be helped because according to scripture you don't even know how you should pray as you ought to pray that's the challenge prayer was not a thing that men do naturally they do it by a supernatural ability and as a result of that you cannot pray by your natural tendency as a man so if you see anyone pray, it's not praying as a man anytime you return back to humanity in prayers you just realize you are weak at any point you do not know how you should pray as you ought to but the spirit of God help it that your inability with a modicum of knowledge that you cannot be able to decipher and that is why anytime you want to try to pray in the flesh you realize that it's very hard prayer is always easy in the presence of God very easy but some of the presence of God is there you can't even know that the time has gone do you realize that <laughs> when the presence of God is not a prayer becomes so hard so one of the key secrets is to ensure that you can culture the presence of God if you can culture it if you can host it anything you do become very easy it ceases from becoming an activity the difference between an activity eh, is just the presence when the presence comes anything you do becomes a channel for an encounter everything without the presence become an activity a religion 